Hey everyone, we're at our favorite coffee shop, The Wired Monk in Fleetwood, and I have the wonderful opportunity today to speak with Jenny, who is a very talented singer. Hi Jenny, how are you tonight? Hi, I'm good. How about yourself? I'm good, thanks. So I want to start by asking you, when did you start singing? Uh, I started in grade two, so it was the first talent show I did, and I just noticed that I really liked to sing and dance and all that. And then around maybe grade six, seven, um, I heard about a great music teacher at one of the local music schools, and so I signed up with her, and ever since then, I've been taking lessons for about four years now. And how old are you now? I'm 16. So quite a while then. And you said you were doing it in a talent show, so did you do the talent show first and then realize you were a good singer, or did you just always love to sing? Uh, well, it started when I was like younger. I like My dad was always singing and dancing, and so I'd always do that with him. And then there was an opportunity for a talent show, and I was like, oh, I was like eight, and I was like, oh, I'd love to sing. I want to do it. I want to do it. So then I just did it then, and I've just been doing every single talent show, any kind of contest I could get my hands on. So what kind of music is your genre? What do you like to sing? I've noticed that like over the last maybe three years, uh, it's changed a lot, especially while studying with Natalia, my singing coach. She's influenced a lot of, of like different styles, because I used to say mostly to contemporary pop Disney, but over the years, I've started to grow in like like Aretha Franklin or Ella Fitzgerald, even like older singers like Selena Quintanilla, like different. I just like upbeat music. So it sounds like you have a variety of styles to practice. Do you have a favorite? I know you said you like a whole bunch of stuff, but do you have one that you really, really like? Meaning as in song or genre? Uh, both. Uh, right now, I can't tell. Like all those songs on the radio right now are in my head. Like it's just too many. But mostly when it comes to genre, it would have to be like contemporary pop. Yeah. And so you're 16, so you're in grade 11? Grade 10. So. Um, how do you manage practicing and schoolwork? And I know there's provincials in grade 10, so how do you how do you balance all of that? For me, music is a stress reliever, so it's definitely an easier to balance because it's like, I'll do my homework, I'll get home, I'll do homework, then I'll practice for a little bit, kind of release the stress from the day of school, go back to studying, and it's just kind of a rotation. You know, I have my lessons on a certain day and then, you know, enough time to do my homework. So That's a really interesting thought I never really thought that music I mean singing would be a stress reliever from homework maybe I should try it I'm not really a good singer but I can try it right um, so how do your friends and family react to the fact that you love to sing they're actually really supportive when I first started my mom was actually surprised and especially now with the lessons I like you grow so much and so now like my friends they they find it as a fun opportunity to come and see these shows and you know one time my friend made a poster and they just get so into it I love it and I'm so like grateful for that so you already have your own little fan club going pretty much kind of it's just a great love support like my family's totally like right before we go for show everyone's like okay let's do this come on it's gonna be fun it's gonna go great so so you were saying earlier that you've been doing this since you were about six or seven. So there must be something that keeps you going. Is it family that inspires you? Are there professional artists who inspire you? So who are your inspirations? Well, when I was younger, it was first, you know, Hilary Duff, the Disney scene. And I was like, oh, like, she's so cool. She was my first concert. So that was definitely something that was totally just, I know, I knew it since then. I was like, this is really cool. And then later on in grade six, I had a teacher who decided to part, part of his curriculum to make guitar part of his curriculum so I was like oh this is really fun so then I started taking lessons with guitar and then just every year I've kind of found more people who inspire me like this year for now it's I have two people and it's Demi Lovato who's also Disney but her, she's just really passionate when it comes to music and actually my singing coach she she's very she's definitely an inspiration because she's so helpful and her music is just so original and it shows that you know you don't always have to follow the genre you can add stuff and she's taught me a lot and just seeing her grow as a musician too, it, it's very inspiring. You've said Disney a few times, so are you hoping to kind of veer into the whole family channel thing and do, you know, I guess Demi Lovato, who else, who else is in Disney? Yeah, yeah, is that, is that kind of what you're hoping for? I, I just, the thing about Disney is I really like the role model aspect. I like being a role model. I like, I'm involved in a lot of like leadership things at school. Like I just think being a good person is so important. And especially as a musician, you know, it's an art and you're explaining things, your experiences. And we all go through similar experiences, right? So I've, I just love that connection with music. And I definitely find that it's just, 
it's that connection that helps people. It brings people together, like simply going to a concert. It's like everyone's in that room to just forget about their troubles and just enjoy the music, you know. Do you do you see yourself, you know, performing at Rogers Arena one day? You know, that's that's kind of one of the dreams, but I always have plan B. If, if that doesn't work out, I mean, you can't predict those things. So sure, why not? If it comes, like my singing teacher says, there's a quote, and it's if I'm on, if I make it, I'm on velvet. If I don't, I'm still on velvet. So I mean, if that doesn't work out, I still want to keep a career in music. So either way, you want to be in music. Plan A, plan B, plan Z. Yeah. So how do you plan to get there? Because I mean, you're in high school now. You have to start thinking about post-secondary. So, what 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 are your plans in terms of that? Uh, once I finish, you know, high school, I plan to just go and do a teaching degree and a music degree, and just teach music exactly like my singing coach, and just you know, teach either in a public school, maybe or have my own private studio as well, and you know, on the side, do little gigs here and there, like I do now with school. Just kind of continue with that, and wherever that takes me, you know, maybe. In a few years, I'm supposed to work on a demo or whatever. Whatever comes, go with the flow. So you said that you're involved in leadership. So what do you do in the community that's apart from music? Well, for the last three years, I've been a big part of Maria's Opus, which is a cancer fundraiser held in Vancouver. And it raises money for breast cancer. And it all started with my music teacher. And it's a really inspiring story. Um, her mom passed away from breast cancer and she just started to raise money and that's exactly one of the other things to inspire me like it's crazy how just one little benefit concert can make such a difference in raising money for something that's you know so serious and I mean at school we have a leadership club and I be part of that through elementary school I was always part of student council just you know trying to get involved and making everything the best you know for you personally, why do you think community involvement or school involvement is important? I mean, there's a lot of youth out there who like to sing, but you do a whole bunch of different stuff. So why is that important to you? You know, for me, it's it, it develops your character. You know, it teaches you lessons. It's a lot of experience. I think it really helps growing up to learn these things. You know, you go through struggles, teamwork. I think teamwork is so big, especially I got a part-time job recently and you just realize like teamwork helps, you know? And just learning skills, developing skills, and socializing, you know, being social is so important, and being able to communicate what you want to tell people. Oh, that's awesome, and you, you're talking about your inspirations and what inspires you, but speaking with you, you know, I could look up to you. You're an inspiration for so many people, so there must be, there must be people in your life who look up to you and say, hey Jenny, you know, I want to be like you, or I want to sing like you. Do you have anybody in your life like that? funny just recently actually um, one of my classmates came up to me and they're like how do you do it and I'm like do what and they're like school music work like how do you do it like I don't I don't know how you get everything done and I'm like you know it's time management that's another skill you learn right so you know it, it pays off in the end I mean it sounds busy busy but it's a reward later down in the road so you seem like, you know, the perfect role model and your friends, you, you know, your friends look up to you. I'm sure your family looks up to you, but there must be days where you're like, I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to sing. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to talk to anybody. Do you, do you ever have one of those days? Because speaking to you right now, it seems like, you know, you probably never do. So does that ever happen? All the time. I mean, there's, uh, there's always going to be downs and, you know, there is times where I'm like, that's it. I'm quitting music. I'm done. I don't want to do this. I'm like tired this 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 you know uh, song is not going well I sound terrible oh my gosh that recording was horrible that that performance was terrible but you know again like I'm so lucky for the support system I have and Natalia is just like so helpful with that like she ta she's taught me this is a big thing I've learned from her is any bad experience you go through teaches you how to turn it into a positive and teaches you that later in life you're gonna need those skills so when I have a bad performance, you know, I'll cry to her and be like, this is horrible, I can't do this. And she'll be like, well, what can you do to fix it next time? And, you know, it's turning that negative into positive because going in high school, I've noticed so many girls and boys too, like everyone has these like self-doubt issues. We all go through it growing up. And, you know, like I'm just so lucky for the support system I have. And I just want to make sure that people understand that, you know, you can get through it and we're all going to have self-doubt. But no matter what happens, you're going to get through it. And, you know, it's just like that. It's definitely a wonderful message for youth who are watching. And I know there's a lot of viewers who are aspiring singers. Do you have any words of wisdom for them? Don't let people's judgment get to you. 
take it as criticism to improve and just follow your dreams and get involved. I feel the main thing is that I feel like youth don't realize how much music can do. People are like, oh, you just sing. Like, that's not a real thing to do. Like, that's just a little hobby. It's like, there's so much, like, I know for like the Pardalis music studio that I go to, like, we always have gigs and we always need like drummers, bass players, backup singers. Like, we, there's so many places that need singers. And you know, and they're, they're, I always feel like there's this competition, like, oh, she's better, she's better. Like, no, don't think about that. Think about yourself and say, yeah, she's good, but so am I. And you know, just go out there, find a music studio, sing your heart out, sing in the shower, sing any opportunity you get. Because I just feel like people don't realize how much music opportunities there actually are. So you just said that making mistakes is okay and that's all right. And I know coming from somebody who's successful and, and a very positive person, that sounds easy. But there's tons of kids out there who are like, I like singing, but I don't want to embarrass myself. So do you have any embarrassing moments? Have you gone through anything where you're like, oh, just like traumatized when I run off the stage? This is funny. My very first recital when I started singing lessons, I was singing Santa Baby. It was, I started singing and I didn't memorize the words. So I had sheet music on my little stand. And so I was singing it and I totally lost track of where I was and I forgot the words. Eventually I just got through it and my sheet music kept falling off the stand. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I don't know the words, oh no. And so I like, it fell off, I finished the song and I just ran to the bathroom bawling my eyes. I was like, this is the worst performance ever. I'm never singing. And I remember going home and ripping up the sheet music. I was like, no, I'm never doing this again. So yeah, I've had a few experiences. Well, you're such a positive person and I, I love speaking to you today. Um, is there any way that, you know, maybe aspiring musicians could reach you? Do you have a fan page or a website or anything? I actually do. I uh, just It's a fan page. It's on Facebook. It's just uh, you type in Jenny Barra, B-A-R-A for the last name. And there's just a fan page. I don't know if my Facebook will show up. Either one and just feel free to message right on that board. Uh, maybe one day in the future I'll have a website, so I'll post the link up, but I'm constantly posting show information and feel free to contact me. I'm on Twitter too, so Jenny Barra. Simple as that, no weird names, yeah. Well, I definitely think there's a lot of youth who are going to be contacting you. So th <laughs> thank you so much for talking with us today, and I wish you all the best in the future. Thank you so much, it was a pleasure.